guys, before we get into this video, I want to give you guys the opportunity to get one of these shirts. I want it to be completely free. All you gotta do is like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and comment down below on what you think is going well with the boat and what you would like to see with the boat or what you wish I would have done differently. But I've got Savage Sense Outdoors shirts. They're long sleeve, they're super lightweight. They're nice for fishing. I've got purple, light blue, mint, and gray. But like I said, all you gotta do is like, comment, subscribe, and you'll get entered to win one of these shirts. So, you know, it's free. 20 seconds is all it takes, and I'll pick a, pick a winner in the next couple videos. Hey guys, welcome back to Savage Sense Outdoors. We're back working on the salvage to savage boat. Today we're doing pour foam. We're working on the pink foam right now, uh, cutting out pieces to fit along the channel. And on the outside, we're going to be pouring foam. So I'll show you what we're working on right now with that pink foam. So here's what we're working with. We got, we're cutting out templates of this stuff. We're gonna be tucking this up. It's gonna be tucked up something like that. So it'll make a wall right here for this channel. Now we're gonna be running beads of spray foam here and then all the outside pods of the boat, we're gonna be pouring foam to fill this space. Here's how we're rolling with this pink foam board. It's gonna be running these channels. Like I said, gonna to have to figure out a way to block this off. Might just try and build up pour foam here or try and build up spray foam here because I don't want pour foam back here. So really this is just gonna be a barrier so the so the pour foam doesn't drain to the channel of the boat. I really didn't watch a whole lot of uh, YouTube videos to teach myself how to do this because I was kind of thinking how hard can it be? We're filling the boat with foam, right? I'll show you what pour foam I'm gonna be using and I will have an affiliate link to that pour foam. So if you guys wanna help out the channel and buy the foam that I'm using off that link, uh, I'll get a small percentage, you know, if, if you guys know how the Amazon affiliate links work. That's what I'll be rolling with, and you guys are more than welcome to buy the same pour foam and help out the channel. The foam I'm using, it is Total Boat two-part polyurethane flotation foam. It's a two-pound two pound weight. That means I think it's every, every cubic foot of this stuff is two pounds, so it's the lightest you can get. It, they say it's the best for uh, buoyancy of the boat and weight saving, so that's why we're rolling with this. We'll see how she goes. And like I said, I'll have a link in the description if you guys want to pick some of this stuff up. They've got a few hundred reviews and it's rated like four and a half stars or something. So it's got to be halfway decent, you know. Just like this, what I was talking about with the spray foam, we've got pink board, pink board lining the channel. And then all this spray foam is kind of going to be uh, a sealant so my pour foam doesn't leak into the channel. So uh, we're going to get to pouring this foam. I'm kind of nervous it's going to go everywhere because it's the pour foam. And the instructions say that it starts rising instantly. It's a little scary, you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't want to start mixing it and it goes all over the lawn because uh, Dad wouldn't be too happy about that. But... uh. We're gonna give this pour foam a test. Put her on a time lapse and see if it turns out cool. I don't know if it'll turn out cool. That's why we're just gonna test her out. It's my first time using this stuff. looking looking pretty good to my standards we should have started pouring up higher on the boat so it'll leak down but at least it's not leaking into the center channel so the uh the pink foam board and the spray foam worked so the pour foam's not leaking down uh i suppose it's time to mix up some more of this stuff and fill the cracks and get the rest of the pods rolling <laughs>
floor foam is done. Uh, I'm thinking there's a few cracks that I want to touch up, so I might get uh, the spray foam in a can just to fill uh, the small cracks. <coughs> there's no point in getting more pour foam just for the tiny cracks. Uh, spray foam will be perfect for them. But this stuff set up perfectly. Uh, obviously, it was our first time using it. There is a couple things we should have done differently, but we didn't know that until about halfway through. Uh, so one of our first pods, one of our first cells, I mean, we tried to spread out the foam and obviously it looks, it looks ugly. It's pretty solid. These are some of our best cells on this side here. Uh, they rose up perfect. And I think what you need to do, you got to pour more at once on this side, we poured less and then tried topping it off later but you're really better off pouring a little more than what you think you need and letting it bubble over because you can saw it off later and sand it down to meet the height of your frame. The other thing you're gonna wanna do is measure precisely. Our measurements were not precise and we didn't stir it good enough. Get yourself a drill attachment for mixing this stuff up. We were using wooden sticks, like the, the sticks for stirring paint, and this stuff rises too fast for that to work because the resin sinks to the bottom of the bucket that you're mixing in. And I'll show you here. We found out that when you have more resin than activator, you get these big bubbles. And obviously the bigger the bubble, the less dense that foam is. You want your, de your foam to be as dense as possible because you don't want all these air pockets in your foam. I still think it'll reject water and I'm gonna put an, an oil-based paint over it. Hopefully the oil-based paint will soak into the foam a little bit and help reject the water, but I'm really happy with how this turned out. We're gonna put this project away for a little bit and wait for this to set. This is what we left off at. Stuff is rock hard. It's got no give to it, that's what we want. But I've got another can of spray foam. I'm gonna get up in the cracks like this just so uh, it's got a little bit more support under these even though they're they're honestly friggin' rock solid, but I'm gonna fill fill all these cells all the way, uh, let the spray foam dry a little bit, and then we're gonna get to cutting this, cutting these cells. So this is what all that foam looks like. I need to take a sander to it, make sure it's perfectly even. I started out using a hand saw with this stuff, and then I got my knuckles all bloody trying to they were scraping across the foam. Decided that this wasn't the best idea, so I ran to Harbor Freight, picked up one of these oscillating saws, and they seem to work really good. You know, just like that, I went around each cell and trimmed it down. It took a little longer than what the handsaw was doing, but the handsaw took a heck of a lot more effort. So this oscillating saw worked really well. I'd recommend getting one of those if you're doing pour foam. Otherwise, if you want to put the work in with a handsaw, be my guest. But this worked really good. It's by Warrior. This attachment worked really well for it. So all that being said with the foam, she's done. All I need to do is take a sander down to it. And then I'm going to put a layer of oil-based paint. Pretty much every paint out of a spray can is oil-based. And I think that'll help seal the cell up and it should make sure water doesn't actually get into the cell of foam. Uh, later this week, I'm gonna be working on putting the decking on the subfloor. I've got all my aluminum ready for the subfloor. Stay tuned for that. I'm also gonna be working on electrical and wiring up the switch panel and fuse panel and all the wiring that I got for this boat. So that's one to look forward to as well. Please. Like, comment, subscribe, especially if you'd like to get in to win one of these shirts. I'd be happy, happy to give away one or two of these. And I will see you next time. Hopefully next weekend I'll have a good video for you guys of either uh, decking or the electrical. See you later.